It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to learn how to use exponent rules. We are going to learn the power of power property and the product of powers property and how to use them. Here's our question today. We are asked to simplify this expression. x cubed y to the fifth to the fourth, x cubed y squared to the negative two. We're going to drag and drop an exponent into each box to correctly complete the expression. Each value may be used once, more than once, or not at all, and we're given these seven numerical values. And again, we're going to simplify this expression, and we're going to drag and drop one of these seven numbers into each box that can be used once, more than once, or not at all. So here's where you could pause the video and do your best work and then come back to see my solution or hang out as we go through and solve it together. First thing I want to do is just simply look at this expression. I can see that we have parentheses and an exponent. So that's when we're going to discuss a power of a power property. So we have a power to a power. So we have this inside expression that's in simplest form because they have different bases. So there's nothing more we can do with what's inside either set of parentheses because they do not have the same base. So that means whatever is inside to that exponent, which here is a four and here is a negative two, we are going to multiply the exponents inside the parentheses by the exponent outside the parentheses. So in words, to find a power of a power, we're going to multiply the exponents. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to start here where we know we're multiplying now. Just as a reminder, we're multiplying. Some rules you add or subtract. Here, power to a power, we're going to multiply. So we're going to multiply our base is x, and then our exponent is going to be 3 multiplied by 4. So x. 3 times 4. Then we have to go to the second term of the expression inside the parentheses, y to the fifth. We're going to keep our base of y and we're going to multiply 5 times 4. Let's write that over here. So we're going to multiply this term by y and then the exponent 5 times 4. Now we need to consider the second set of parentheses and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to multiply the exponents because it's power to a power. So again we have this base of x and we're going to take the exponent 3 and multiply it by negative 2. So our base x 3 times negative 2. And then our second term in the parentheses y squared we're going to take the 2 and multiply by the negative 2 base of y exponents 2 times negative 2. Now we can simplify this. 3 times 4 is 12. So we're going to do x to the 12th, y, 5 times 4 is 20, so y to the 20th. Our next term, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, and then 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Now we're going to apply that when we have the same base, right, we have product of powers property. So we have the same base with different exponents x to the 12th, x to the negative 6th, we're going to add. So to multiply powers with the same base, we add their exponents. So let's identify a like basis. We have two terms that have a base of x. We're going to add the exponents. 12 add negative 6 is 6. So keep the base, add the exponents. Now we have two terms that have a base of y. Again, we're going to add their exponents. 20 and negative 4 is positive 16. Keep the base, add the exponents. So now this expression is in simplest form because we do not have any like bases left. We don't have any negative exponents, so this is as simplified as we can go. Let's bring our simplified expression back to our question. So we are going to fill this box with our exponent we found for x. Our base of x has an exponent of 6, so we're going to drag that 6 to the exponent for x. 
our exponent for y that we found is 16. So we're going to take that 16 and drag it and drop it into the exponent box for y. x to the 6th, y to the 16th is simplified version of this expression. And that's how we use exponent rules to simplify an algebraic expression by applying power of a power property and product of powers property. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day and please come back soon.